We're trying to make life harder for hackers. Quite frankly, we're trying to harden systems. We're, we're trying to increase the level of knowledge. We're trying to increase capabilities, both in the private sector and the government. We're trying to deal directly with a host of nation states around the world and engaging with them in terms of what's acceptable from our perspective, what is not. We are using the legal tool, for example. We have used indictments against both PRC and Iranian individuals arguing, hey, look, we're so serious about this and we're trying to send you a very clear message. We are prepared to use multiple tools and multiple capabilities that, we're with, that are within our toolkit, if you will, to design to drive you to change your behavior. You've seen, I think, I, I'd have to say um, on the Chinese piece, the conversation that led to the presidential summit in September of 15, a little over a year ago, where the two presidents... Xi Jinping and President Obama came out and said, hey, look, we agree that we will not use cyber as a tool of the nation state to gain economic advantage. That had been one of our biggest issues with our Chinese counterparts. We certainly acknowledge nation states will use cyber as a tool to generate insight and knowledge about what is going on in the world around them. But in the U.S. system, we do not, do not then take some of that knowledge that we acquire for intelligence purposes and turn to our private sector and say, here's what the fifth generation fighter that nation X, Y, or Z is building. This is what you're going to have to compete against. This is what you've got to design a better fighter for. We don't do that. That is not the way the U.S. structure works. That is the way in some nations, though, when we raise this with the Chinese, for example, saying this is totally unacceptable. We were able to reach a, a, an agreement with each other there. I thought that was positive. You've seen the actions I mentioned that we've discussed with the Iranians. We took a very different action with the North Koreans in response to the Sony hack, for example. We indicated, we publicly acknowledged the activity. We publicly attributed, this is the President of the United States came out. We publicly attributed the activity to a particular nation, in this case, the, the North Koreans. And then we talked about, we are going to take an initial response to this in the form of an economic piece. We, both, we put sanctions against both individuals and a couple um, particular entities, um, portions of the Korean government, and we highlighted to them very publicly, this is an initial step. If this does not change your behavior and we see continued actions directed against the United States along the lines that we've seen directed destructively against Sony, we are prepared to take additional action at the time and place of our choosing. That knock on wood seemed to have had a positive effect. So I, I apologize for going a little long on the answer. One, but my key takeaway for all of you would be there's no one size fits all here. Every single nation, every single group we're dealing with, we make a decision based on the particulars of the conduct and, and then we decide what's the best way.